Mishanda Tifrer and her 10-year-old son, Kasim, share some Netflix time in their Chelsea apartment. Sarah Naomi Lukovic for the New York Times Reality Television fans might know Mishanda Tifrer as a former cast member on Love Hip Hop New York. Music fans might know her from the S she's collaborated on with Jay's, even DMX. But currently, Ms. Tiferer, 38, is committed to Art Lead Her, an organization she created that is dedicated to promoting women artists. In addition to organizing shows, including King Woman, an exhibition of 25 contemporary women artists currently on view through Deck. I'm at Penn Brush in the Flatiron District, Ms. Tiferer gets involved in the business side of Art, helping women artists sell their works to her collector friends, who include the singer writer Maxwell and the basketball player Carmelo Anthony. Ms. Tiferer splits her time between a home in Fort Lee, NJ, where she has her own modern art collection, and a own a bedroom apartment in Chelsea. She lives with her son, Kasim Dean Jr., 10, and their dog, Chloe. Most Sundays, mother and son avoid the suburbs and roam the city. Nishanda, Kasim and Chloe. Sarah Naomi Lukovic for the New York Times Elevate We wake up kind of late on Sundays. I'll get up at around 930. Kasim will sleep until 10. Then we get up and we walk the High Line. We both really love the High Line. It's so peaceful up there, you kind of forget you're in New York City. Sometimes we head downtown to the Meatpacking District and have breakfast at Serafina. Or we'll go to the Standard Grill. He keeps it simple, he's a pancake guy. Myself, I'm going to get lobster hash, like Lobster Benedict. I'll also have my Sunday Bellini. Brunch at the coffee shop in Union Square. Sarah Naomi Lukovic for the New York Times heel flips, high art Kasim takes his skateboard almost everywhere. After we've had our breakfast brunch, we'll head back up to Pier 62 Skate Park, near Chelsea Piers. It's a huge park. It's got all the dips and, like, those big pools and all these different interesting obstacles. So while he's doing that I'm sitting on the lawn with my laptop, just relaxing. By the time he's done it's like 2 or 3 o'clock, and we're back on the high line. We stop and check out the art up there. The High Line has been great about giving space to artists. A regular tour of the High Line. Sarah Naomi Lukovic for the New York Times Pop Life Kasim knows my business is art, so he'll accompany me to check out the galleries on Sundays. We head down to the village. I know a lot of the gallery owners in the area, like we're very close to the Martin Lawrence Galleries family. My son and I both love it there because they have a lot of artists that are super animated. The colors are bright, and they're superhero characters, and Kasim can relate to that. So it's good because I like to take him places where he can relate to the art. On the way home, we'll look at street art. Kasim loves it, and there's a ton of it down in the village, so we'll spend some time checking that out before we go home. Farmers market to table if we're not too exhausted by that point in the afternoon we'll go to Union Square Green Market to get some things for dinner. They've got the best bread and the most beautiful vegetables. We are both really healthy. Kasim is definitely being raised as a modern-day eater. When we go home we start prepping. I've been teaching him how to cook. We'll wash everything and he'll start cutting the vegetables. Things he likes, like broccoli. He also loves pasta, and he loves fresh parmesan, so I've been teaching him how to grate it and boil the water for the pasta. Everything he makes has to have truffle salt included. I tell him, you've got some exquisite taste for a 10-year-old. I don't know what I've started here. Work with wine chaser dinner usually begins around 7, and his bedtime is 9 o'clock, so I let him indulge in a little TV or whatever he wants to do after we eat. Sometimes he wants to play a board game, like Trouble, so we'll do that. Mostly he's off in his own little world until he falls asleep. But Sunday night for me is when the work begins. Once he's off to bed, I have to get out the laptop and get started on the week ahead. I get out my folders and get back into my conversations with artists all over the world. Probably shut everything down by midnight, so I can get a solid six hours sleep before Monday. But I definitely have my little glass of wine on Sunday nights. That helps me burn the midnight oil. Sunday routine readers can follow Mishanda Tiffrer on Twitter at Mishanda Loyal and on Instagram at Mishanda Tiffrer. A version of this article appears in print on December 3, 2017, on page MB2 of the New York edition with the headline A Hip-Hop Maven, Gliding Along.